Hey guys, I'm Milan with 2ProBeats and in today's video I want to show you my favorite shortcuts that I use inside Studio One. Shortcuts for me are pretty important because they allow me to work faster, they allow me to do more work in less time and at the end of the day just using the mouse click is pretty annoying. If you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Let's get into it. <laughs> Okay guys, so the first thing I want to show you is my keyboard and my mouse. These are pretty important when it comes to workflow, when it comes to ergonomics. This is my keyboard, as you can see really small, really portable. I don't like having something big on my desk. One thing that I don't like about it is that sometimes it has some uh, lag because of the Bluetooth communication. But other than that, I think it's a great keyboard. This is what I use for my daily work. As for the mouse, I use again a Logitech mouse, Master MX2S. I really like how it feels in my hand. I really like the additional buttons. Okay, so now that I showed you my keyboard and my mouse, I wanna talk to you about keyboard shortcuts. I don't use a lot of keyboard shortcuts. I only use a few, but they are really important for my workflow. First, I want to start with the basic ones. The most basic one is F3 that opens the console inside Studio One. So instead of clicking the mix, you just hit F3. That will bring up the mixer, the console inside Studio One. The next one is the numeric keypads. These are for selecting the tools. When you need to cut something, the cut split tool is on three. When you need to mute something, on six, go to the smart tool. It's really important to know the editing tools to speed up your workflow so you can edit things really, really fast and don't waste time on that just by using the mouse. Another shortcut that I use is Shift plus G. This is loop from range. This is what it looks like. Select an event, Shift G, and it plays that loop. This is a macro, let me show you what it does. Loop section, go to loop start, toggle loop and play. This is a very basic one that I use all the time and I think you can download this one from the cloud on the Presonus Exchange macros. And as you can see, you can find it right there. Another shortcut that I use all the time when working inside Studio One is Shift, Alt and click. Shift, Alt, drag click this is zooming in so i can make better edits shift alt click and drag this is a really simple and really nice way to zoom in when editing next one if we are on the zoom topic the zoom overview macro that brings everything into the view just like that. So for example, I edit something and I just wanna see the overview of the session, just like that. Even if I have the mixer open, it brings everything into view. Macros, zoom overview. So this is another great macro that you can use. The next one that I wanna show you is play from loop start. This one is pretty important to me because it helps when I mix certain section of the song. For example, let's say this is the hook. So instead of clicking, playing and clicking, playing, going to the specific section, wherever I am in the timeline, I can hit the play from loop range and it will go right from there. This one is useful when used with shift plus j let's say you want to work on the hook select the hook loop it now every single time you hit this shortcut it will go back from the hook start you can find this one under the transport keyboard shortcut so this is not a macro another simple shortcut is show automation i have it on a i think this is the default one I like to have the session with the waveforms when I want to see what automation I have on the track. Just hit A, do the changes, 
go back to the regular waveform view. Another one is the F. This is auto scroll. Sometimes I like it on, sometimes when doing edits, I like it off. Another one is the snap function and just like that. Probably one of my favorite uh, macros that I use is the decrease and increase volume. For example, let's say that we want to deal with this breath right here. I have the shortcut on the mouse. When I hit it, as you can see, we have a decrease in uh, volume. And on this other button, I have increase. This way I can do the proper gain staging. And when used with the zoom, you can go really fast in editing. A really nice thing about the macros is that you can set the target. For example, you can just edit the, the macro right here. Let's say minus five. Okay, right now it's just adjusting the gain with minus five. Let's go back. I use this all the time when cleaning vocals from uh, breaths and that's why I showed you the mouse in the beginning because you have some additional buttons that you can use to enhance your workflow. So these are my most used keyboard shortcuts when mixing inside Studio One. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe, hit the like button. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, follow me on Facebook. See you guys next time. Cheers. Hey.